All right. How's it going, everybody? Um, welcome to the September 26th Chaos Metric Model Meeting. Uh, it's good to have everybody back. Uh, minutes are in the chat, and if somebody could kind of keep those going uh, over time. So the first is we just I spend a little bit of time on OSS EU and the recap and just how things went for people. Um, Yuhui, I'm real sorry. I, I think I have met most of the people in that picture, like in person, except for you, Yuhui. So it's great. Yeah, to see I, actually, Brian also joined with us, but uh, he 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 uh, take, uh, go back to the hotel, bring a gift to, to Dawn in the middle way, and <laughs> he later joined with us. Dawn, okay. Dawn you should tell them <laughs> what kind of gift. I, I yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show it off at the weekly meeting. <laughs> you, have to, you have to wait for the weekly meeting, and then I will I will I will show it. I will so wear it. For like three hours, three and a half. <laughs> All right. Well, that's 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 cool. That'll get me back to the weekly meeting. I was going anyway, <laughs> but now I'll totally go. I just want to see the gift. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I have I have I have a presentation with Daniel and yeah. uh, and uh, and uh, and I think the presentation is quite quite good because in the uh, last day before our speech, um, James Allen on his note keynote <laughs> just show us a wonderful uh, picture uh, to show the comparison between the PyTorch and TensorFlow. So like the you know con don't uh, coincidentally. Daniel and I also gave the comparison between the uh, PyTorch and TensorFlow using our chaos metrics and the metrics model. So even uh, James and our presentation are using the same color to in terms of the different uh, communities. So that's really uh, uh, good to see. Uh, did you or, see the same okay. things as what Jim presented? <laughs> if you, if you open that open that link, yeah, go yeah. to the twenty third slides, the you 20th. will find that. <laughs> yeah, this is the keynote given by Jim on Wednesday, last Wednesday. Oops. Yeah, yeah. The next slide is given by by Daniel and I. We are the same color to stand for the these two communities. And okay. uh, I swear we don't know each other's slides before. <laughs> Were the results the same? I'm, Almost I'm the kidding. same. They are called relationship with each other close. This picture just showing the investment uh, and uh, PyTorch surpass TensorFlow at some time, time slot. And mm -hmm. in our matrix model, three matrix model, we show three time slot when uh, uh, PyTorch surpass. So surpass TensorFlow. Okay. So was this? I'm just kind of curious. This is interesting. So what is what is this? Do you know what the lines uh, are? It, it's about the uh, investment in PyTorch and TensorFlow. Investment? And, uh, what like money? Yeah, something like that. Well, so here's the thing. He didn't actually define that access. The access is defined as you can see. It's like interest over time. Yeah. Like what is that? So the the access is like the is interest interest. Okay. I I don't know. It's a little bit of gym magic, I think. But okay. but Yahoo's graphs show the same thing, and those are that's actual data. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what Jim's uh, what interest is. Yeah, I don't know what interest it's, means. It seems like it might be interest in the project, just based on. Yeah, but, like but activity. Did, how did he measure that? Like, what, what yeah. was that? But his title to call it broad investment. I I saw this it should be something like money or or, or no. just the interest. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that's <laughs> that interest is money interest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but anyway, was this I created think, with insights? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. But uh, you know, constantly the matrix, the matrix okay. model we build have close relationship with with this picture. Okay. Yeah. That there's a okay. 
Um, but I think to Don's point, like we know we can actually look under the hood, so to speak. We can we can see how community activity is constructed and we can see how organizational activity is constructed. Like we know the metrics underneath yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Um, well, that's interesting. Okay. And it is interesting that you picked the same communities and you picked the same color. Yeah. <laughs> Out of here. all the communities on the entire planet <laughs> that you would pick the same two. I mean, that is a little remarkable. I just use the default color for those two communities <laughs> in compounds. <laughs> love it. That's why I love it. Um, how did the how did your presentation go? Was it well received? Yeah, I don't also join with us. Lots of people join with us to listen in this speech. I think the result is quite good. And uh, we received some questions after meetings and also got a chance to, to discuss something uh, about chaos, about the compass, about Grim Live, how okay. to build their own SaaS platform with yeah. Grim Live, with chaos. Yeah, a lot of things yeah. about that. Um, who do you remember who any of the like organizations were that were asking questions. I'm always kind of curious just because sometimes that can indicate like uh, people who might have an interest or new. Mercedes Bench. Who is this? Um, I mean, Ospo Hyde uh, okay. from Mercedes Bench. It's a, it's a big company. It, it's a, uh, from, from German. Yep, Mercedes Benz, okay. Hey, I should remember. Who is, his name. Don, who is the OSPO lead at Mercedes? I know who it is. You, I, I think you probably know him. I um, do. And, and I, I do too. And on a public meeting, I am completely drawing a blank on okay. his name. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I've seen him talk many times. Yes. Mercedes has had an For Ospo. a super nice guy. All right, yeah, right. right. Exactly. Okay, cool. Great. Well, that's and, awesome. And also, we, Wolfgang, we have some... Wolfgang Gehrig. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. I just Sorry. found his name. It might be, would it be worth ever reaching out to Wolfgang just about what we're doing and maybe having a talk? Because I would love to have Mercedes <laughs> as part of the chaos conversation. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone in particular that wants to reach out or do you want me to do it? I don't know him like personally at all. He wouldn't know who I am. If he knows, would he know who you are, Don? Yeah. Okay, maybe you might. Unless you're who he wants to reach out to him. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. You, would you want to reach out to Wolfgang or would you want Yeah, Don? maybe I, I, I can send a mail to, to, to him okay. because I just added him uh, to my link, LinkedIn contact information okay that'd be cool is there still have a lot of students to join our meeting uh in the whole uh, summit i don't think there are a lot of uh students but the, i do find the uh some students from different countries no matter from europe or from uh, a pike uh, but i do find a lot of people from uh, ospos from different countries uh, they join always with, with us yeah i haven't june over the years i haven't seen much change in academic participation in oss eu or na personally like i don't see more if that was your question i don't see more professors necessarily at these meetings or more students at these meetings or conferences and I think it I feel like it depends a little bit on the on the location so sometimes mm -hmm. if it's in locations with some universities they give some free tickets to some okay. uh, university yeah, students true. so mm -hmm. I've seen some of them that have had maybe maybe a few more students than okay. than others okay I think it just depends a lot of, a lot of people from company right uh, it's mostly companies I think yeah yeah <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Next, uh, uh, actually, chaos. Um, stand by, uh, st stand by, Dawn, Daniel, and me. Uh, have have a meeting with um uh, with uh, open rule, open Ola, open ruler. Oh, Euler. <laughs> open Euler. Okay, open Euler. Community. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> 
face to face. So we got some uh, primarily uh, uh, consensus, I think so. So at least here, I, I, I would like to discuss with you guys. And also maybe you uh, uh, you can continuously to discuss in, in our community meeting three hours later, maybe. So first, uh, Open Ruler, uh, we'd like to invite our chaos people to to, to join the, uh, uh, the Open Ruler annual summit at the end of this year in Beijing, hosted in Beijing. Uh, we would like to invite you guys to join with us. And uh, meanwhile, to give us a keynote about uh, uh, what kind of metrics and the metrics model to, to describe a health community. Could use Open Rula as an example, but not just to say Open Rula is, um, is something is good, very good, but also to, to address the area need to be improved uh, in Open Rula. So there's no things, there's no meanings to, to just say some uh, just good, that it's not the truth. We do know Open Rula have a lot of areas need to improvement. We just want to uh, let, let people to know how to use chaos metrics and metrics model to 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 evaluate uh, open source community and uh, the second is about um, uh, open open Jula wanna uh, to uh, to use itself as a use case in the different chaos metrics and metrics model uh, no matter it's good as i said uh, or bad uh, in this metrics or metrics model uh, they are willing to just to use they are using the real data using the um, to uh, by, by the our chaos metrics and metrics model to say how it's good how it's bad in some areas that's that's something about the use case because we we also uh, we know that uh, in our chaos metrics and metrics model we do have some examples but uh, I think we are lack lack of some real case uh, for the communities but open ruler are willing to do so. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, they also to uh, would like to us to help them to create some specific models or met or metrics for the operating system domains. I think uh, currently what we build in metrics and metrics model they are all common for all the communities, but um, they do have some specific uh, specification for the different techno te technical areas. So for example, operating system. So they would like us to build some metrics model for, for them. Mm -hmm. That's the second. And the last also, uh, Chaos uh, also can be invited to provide some business inside reports of Open Ruler. Of course, for, for some other companies or open source communities. Yeah, that's the third thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think this is a good opportunity for both communities because from the from the open Euler side, open Euler side, the <laughs> um, <laughs> so you know, open source from a community perspective is not particularly well understood. I think in in China in a lot of cases, and so I think that this would help help people see that open Euler really is like a you know like a community that people can participate in and see. The, the breadth of that that community. And I also think it's a good opportunity for, for chaos because we don't have a lot of usage in, in Asia and in particular in, in China, since this is in, in China. Um, I think it would be a good opportunity um, there as well. I will have to say that I, I checked my schedule and I personally cannot go um, because it's it's basically at the very beginning of my Christmas holiday. Um, okay. So that's that's the challenge with the dates of the conference because it's the fifteenth and sixteenth of December. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, Daniel was certainly looking at his schedule. I think he was pretty interested in either either going himself or having someone else from from the Baturgia team go. And I think it'd be great if we could get someone else from the Chaos Project as well. Um, yeah, I I sent an invitation to to Elizabeth to Matt and the Shin. Yeah, I'll take a look. I have a, a little like Don. I'll have to take a look and Sean will be in the same as me. That's the end of our semester sometimes. I'll have to look at when mine exactly ends and that can be a challenging time. Just Yeah, I, I know it's close to Christmas time. Christmas yeah, days, yeah. 
<laughs> it's hard to leave on finals week sometimes for my students <laughs> later. Um, but we'll but let's all connect with with everybody and yeah. we can see. Um I I also think this would be a, potentially a really interesting opportunity to really take a look at how chaos metrics and metrics models and software can help mm -hmm. um, guide or provide insight for a community and the companies that are involved mm -hmm. in the community kind of end to end. Um, so I guess I have two two thoughts here. Who are, who are the companies that are mostly involved in Open Euler? I haven't looked. Many com many different companies, except for Huawei, Intel, Susi, and uh, and uh, Ubuntu and VMware. A lot of different companies join with okay. us, and also a lot of com global, from China. Very yeah. very global community is what it sounds yeah. like. Because except for this keynote, we also uh, want to arrange a half day session for mm -hmm. the open governance uh, uh, okay. discussion panel. That's in, would including our chaos people and uh, open chain people and uh, and also people from SPDX. Okay. Uh, all those people would come coming from all over the world. We we'll join with this half day session and uh, discuss all those things. And um, there would be a lot of big or small companies and uh, and uh, open source communities from China would join with us in this uh, during this session. Okay. Yeah. And uh, except uh, this two, two days uh, uh, travel, we also, uh, you can extend uh, one more or two more days, uh, I mean, around around China, because, you know, we, people f from chaos in China are, are distributed in different cities. I'm in Shanghai, and yeah. uh, Anjun is in Chengdu, and, uh, and uh, some other guys in Shenzhen. So you can try. <laughs> All and over. We have different talk. <laughs> uh, well, it, I, I'll, I, I'll honestly look at my calendar. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and even if I can't go, I'm happy to help do some analysis of the community. Yeah, that I was thinking because, like Don, it. So there are a couple of things. One, it it reminded me, Don, of kind of the stuff you had done with Melissa, like mm -hmm. just with um with uh the num focus group. And then, um, so the other, I think the other really interesting thing here is that a lot of, from my perspective, a lot of the ways that chaos tools and um, metrics and metrics models are used, they're used in a variety of different ways. And the way that I personally understand their use is sometimes kind of like small windows into how companies or projects are using them. So for example, um, like I know Don, when you were at VMware, you were using a lot of the tools and metrics and metrics models. But like, I I never, like you would talk about how they were helpful, like in, in slices, you know what I mean? Like, and I never, I don't think I ever fully kind of pieced together the story that you had at VMware, not a criticism at all, but you would talk about how it helped and. Mm -hmm. in different situations. And I think Red Hat is similar to me, like Red Hat uses metrics and metrics models and tools, but I don't really see the end-to-end -end, like connection between all of them sometimes. And it's only just because I don't have the full visibility that you all have. And if and if we were able to do like a case study with Open Euler, mm -hmm. it, it might really create an interesting picture that we could share with people about how metrics and metrics models help yeah, yeah, true. yeah, we actually we actually talked about that during the meeting about doing uh, a case study that that we could publish on the the chaos project and that the open um, Euler team could publish as well on yeah. on their site. So yeah, that's definitely something that we wanted to to do. Yeah, yeah I, I, as you know, that June is a uh, is from uh, he's a he, he's a maintainer of Open Euler uh, infrastructure team, so he could provide the fully support on on those things. So we can provide uh, the the data uh, public data assessment, and also OSS Compass would also provide such support to access the data existing in Gitty, uh, because all the projects are located on the uh, Gitty, not on the GitHub. But 
the data structure or data schema, they are similar like each other. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we can totally use our metrics and metrics model on those uh, measurements. Yeah. yeah, we can use the stuff that you have in Open, open Source Compass. Um, and we can also have Sean um, pull in, because Giddy, is Giddy supported in Augur? I thought it was, but I'm not sure. sure. I'm not sure. Me okay. either. And we may want to, I'm guessing the community is pretty large, the Open Euler community. And so I'm I'm kind of looking at you again, Don, just with all your experience at VMware, like, like what, what would be a compelling case study story to tell through here? Because I it could go, it sounds like, I feel like it could go a whole bunch of different ways. <laughs> there are like so many different directions this could go, and it might make sense to kind of like focus in on something. I don't know what yeah. that something is though. This is the end to end problem I have. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, looking at the, the Giddy repo, it's uh, 468 repositories. So it's um, it's a it's a lot of data, but um, because we have a good relationship with with the folks on this project, we could we could talk to them and maybe maybe we talk about the you know the ten most important repositories and and pull data on on the ones that are you know that the project cares most about, um, so that we because we could easily get lost in in the noise right and not know what to look at, and so I I think if we if we work closer with the project to figure out which which bits we should we should focus on we can look at other things too we could probably it'd be worth pulling all of the data into Augur and and seeing how we can kind of aggregate some things. But it would also be worth looking specifically at a few of the more strategic repositories, like the the kernel. I'm guessing is is one of them, because they've got six pinned repositories. We could certainly look at those. Um, yeah, I think I think it's an interesting. I I think Jun and I could give give you a, a very simple presentation next time about the whole repository structure uh, of Open Rula, hmm. uh, and uh, except for these 400 repositories. We also have another 10,000 repositories in Open Rula. <laughs> so that's true. Uh, for our open uh, op operating system, it's a, it's quite true. Um, so we, I, we can provide a, a simple structure of the whole uh, uh, communities. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just found the other Giddy uh, org. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But, but it's uh, no problem. I think yeah. uh, uh, Augur and uh, GrimLab and uh, I think uh, OSS Compass also could give such support on those things. It's, it's no problem. Yeah, because I think it would be interesting to look at the, I mean, the different the different tools have different strengths, right? Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. if, yeah. if we all work together and we look at we look at the data using using all of these, I think we can pull together a, a cohesive story um, before yep. that Beijing conference I, and pull together some data from each of the different sources that tell different uh, different parts of the story. Yeah. But it I is, yeah, it's 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 a, it's going to be a bit different. You know, back to Yuhui, what you said before was that, you know, we don't spend a lot of time um, analyzing uh, operating systems. Which are are fundamentally a kind of a different a different beast um, because like yeah. you said the yeah for the the source for Open Euler the that Giddy repository has all the things that are in the whole operating system which <laughs> operating true. systems are massive so we need to think about yeah we need to think about how we want to analyze it I think sure. before we start. no problem we can pro uh, I think we can work close closely with with with, with uh, each other yeah. and. Uh, because as you know that from the end of this week in China, we are gonna have a, a kind of long vacation or holiday, like a eight days vac vacations. And, uh, but uh, after that, we will uh, go back from, from, from holiday. And uh, after that, I, I think after that, we, I will, I will, uh, you and I will uh, give you a, a I think a quite clear structure of the op operating system like Open Ruler. What does mm -hmm. it, it look like? And okay. uh, and um, for the next thing, no matter using uh, Augur and uh, GrimLab or some uh, OSS Compass, that's super fun. We can okay. use some spe uh, special tools and for some specific metrics or metrics model. Yeah, because the thing, 
I think the thing we need to keep in mind is that that operating systems are collections of of projects and packages that are actually developed That's true. elsewhere. That's and true. so what we don't want to do is study, uh, you know, put effort into studying things that have nothing to do with open open oil or no. that open oil is just pulling in because it's part of the operating system. So I do think we need to be really careful um, to scope this out. And yeah, a presentation to help help us understand exactly how things are structured. And which which bits are are actually the the stuff that's that open oiler focuses on from a development standpoint. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. that's probably where we should put most of our most of our effort. So that would be super helpful. Yeah. So um, uh, this is uh, awesome and amazing. Um, a question, kind of for both of you, still here. If if there was a a story to be told, you know, or this this case study to be told. Is it from the position of how Open Euler understands themselves as a community and can improve? Is it how the organizations who participate in Open Euler understand the community and think about their own engagement? Is it all the same? Does it, do we want to split this up? Because like, I don't know, a lot of this collapses on itself for me often because we talk about community members and we talk about say organizational or corporate members and the corporate members are actually the community members. And I just, I'm trying to understand the perspective of how we might want to tell this story and if it matters. And Don, I know you've done this many times and you know, I know you have too. I think there are a lot of different aspects to say how good a health uh, committee should should be like. No, I'm not saying um, Open Ruler is a is a perfect community, but we could use Open Ruler as a complicated use case because it's an operating system. Mm -hmm. Like ten more than ten thousand repositories need to be management need to be managed, and uh, we can say to to manage or govern such a big community. Uh, if there are good case we found in 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 Open Ruler, if there are any areas or bad case we we found in the such uh, big communities, and uh, we can give a lot of different learn uh, study case for all the other peoples, no matter communities from China or all over the world. Just tell them uh, how to use our metrics and metrics model from chaos to measure such such things. Yeah, and I would I would probably tend to focus on the community, so the people actually doing the the development on the Open Euler code base. But yeah, yeah. Um, but I think that there are probably some interesting bits that we can we can pull in from say the governance uh, mm -hmm. to talk about the organizations that are involved in it. Yeah. Uh, who who sponsors the project? Who you know which you know people from which companies are on you know various leadership positions. There's there's some stuff we can do around that that would be less less metrics driven honestly mm -hmm. um, and a little more manual, but part of the bigger story I think. As you know that because it uh, Open Ruler is quite a big communities, and uh, they have um, almost uh, one hundred uh, special interesting groups currently alive in this community. How to manage such a big groups? I mean, ten, ten, uh, one hundred six. So it's also a challenging thing, but mm -hmm. we can try. Uh, uh, does Open uh, Open Ruler operate good or bad? we can give such measurement. Um, Sean, we had a question for you before you joined. Does yeah, does sorry. Augur does Augur support well, Giddy? Um, it doesn't have a Giddy client right now. Okay. It wouldn't be hard to create one. Uh, uh Grim Lab has already supported Giddy. Yeah. And after I, I as as we discussed with the Sean and Matt in last meeting. We can use Google Lab to, to fetch all the data uh, and store it in the open search. Um, I mean, to keep it as an open data schema and to let our auger to fetch the data from no matter from open search or some other um, uh, database to, to, to calculate um, based on some metrics or metrics models. Can Augur can Augur pull data in from from Git repositories that are hosted locally as opposed to it can from pull, it can it can do it can process commits from any Git repository. Then then that could be. But working. then but then we'd be we'd be missing we'd be missing things. I don't know what Git uses for like like 
pull requests or yeah. we'd be missing like pull requests and issue data if we did that, if we just used yeah. the data. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. That's not a good. That's not a good idea. But uh, but I think it's a it can be collaborated with each other. Like uh, use Augur to fetch fetch git data and uh, using GrimLab to fetch the issues and pull requests together, or just using GrimLab to fetch all the data. And uh, for the rest of the thing, we are using Augur to do the metrics yeah. and other calculations. Yeah, I mean, Augur is a software as a service site as well. And the, the reason we're talking about the Sean is we're we're doing we're getting ready to kick off some analysis of the open oiler community, which is mm -hmm. only hosted in Getty. Yeah. That makes sense. But we can use we can use data from Compass and Grimoire Lab. Mm -hmm. So then my my last comment, just as as we think about this, um Don and Yahoo, you keep mentioning that as a um as an operating system, it's a uniquely different style of community. Mm -hmm. So just thinking about how, if we do an analysis here, it, we could present it in such a way that would be helpful for other communities. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. This happens in, at least in academic writing, sometimes when somebody takes a look at the Linux kernel, it's so different than it's just its own thing. <laughs> and it's hard to, as you know, Don. I, I, yeah. I think like Don mentioned, uh, even they have uh, like a uh, ten thousand ten thousand repositories, we don't have to care so much on those uh, on this the big numbers okay. because they just the uh, source source. Uh, I mean, they are just the source code. I mean, the package okay. to to be included it into operating system. The key things we need to care more about is uh, is is governance and okay. operating operating a such complicated uh, community. And some of the some of the repositories that um because because open oiler is different than a lot of other um operating systems, right? So there's some some custom stuff that you've done within within open oiler that you wouldn't find in in other operating systems, correct? Because of some of the I might need to go back to my my slides. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, actually, actually, uh, because because Open Ruler like a uh, he's a he, it's a very young, um, uh, open source community. So he followed uh, all the best practice or or, uh, in in current uh, 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 open source world, like uh, they put all the open source management and all the open source projects uh, on on code uh, code management platform like Gatey. Uh, you just think Gatey exactly same like uh, with uh, with uh, GitHub, so you can you can monitor or uh, observe all the things happened in this community. So it's quite easy to 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 give uh, evaluation or something like that. This is this is great. Ed. Um, this is yeah. This is just really great. So. Um, and one final comment, but it's um, it's okay. We can move on. So it sounds like um, we would talk in the next meeting just about the construction of the repositories or the, the organization, just to give. Uh, yeah. What's the next meeting? When is the next weeks. meeting? Two weeks later, I say, Chuck. Will you be back from the the holiday in China? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just the two weeks. Yeah, I, I already back from holiday. Uh, <laughs> but um, Sean and I will be at uh, that event in Frankfurt mm -hmm. on the 10th. So Sean and I won't be here for that discussion. Okay. Okay. But before that, I can send you uh, uh, some slides uh, about the instruction about Open Ruler. Okay. Yeah, that would be helpful. So maybe just some async stuff. Uh, which channel I should send through the metrics model, or or, yeah. or which which channel? Metric model. Metrics model. Okay. Yep. Um, and I the other thing that I, I guess I will say the other thing I really like about this is it helps kind of like what we're doing with badging, like it helps bring metrics and metrics models into practice. 
and mm -hmm. kind of the human part of it as well, not just metrics on a dashboard, but like talking through it with people. So that's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, okay, we don't have much time and I know that, so thank you for that conversation. Um, I know that people have been busy and traveling. I just wanted to to kind of say that I think that through this these um, profile models, Yahui, that you have. That, and, that, that's my homework. I, I will finish in the next. Yeah, week. yeah. I, I promise. I know. Well, that's why I put. I said I know people have been busy, so I know you've been traveling and all that Sorry. kind of stuff. No, no, no apologies. <laughs> none, 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 none. Um, and then uh, I just wanted to bring these up as well on viability that Gary White has also been developing a series of metric models around viability. Um, and we just recorded a podcast yesterday on that and there was a, a panel. Um, so I think my my thought is, is that the focus could just be on getting these two collections of metrics models out and and helping Yahui where you need a hand and also I know that Gary I think yesterday we had talked about he was going to issue some pull requests this is kind of an off conversation but he was going to issue some pull requests on the viability ones as well so just the thought is is to move these forward before we really start developing anything else because these we've been talking about these for a while I think there's a lot of interest in all of them um and honestly, they could perhaps be really nice models to think about um, in, with respect to this case study as well. They would be nice ones to, to draw forward. Um, so that, that's kind of my thought. Is everybody okay with that? I think we can work with these asynchronously. Elizabeth, just so you know, like a couple of these are going to show up kind of to be published. And Yui, I can work with you async as well. Yeah, um, yeah. Thank you. Yep. You bet. Um. Does anybody have any questions or comments on the kind of current set of metrics models? I mean, in reality, seven at the moment, which is quite a few, which is cool. Okay. Um, let's see, Sean, I just, now that you are on, I just wanted to say, ask how Augur meetups, have you thought about those timings? I know that that was something that you were gonna do. We yeah, about. we just, we just um, implemented a technology for a GraphQL database for Augur. So uh, we're I'm testing that right now and I'm planning to have that meeting either this Thursday or next Thursday or Wednesday. Um, I just want to look at the cadence, but I wanted to have the GraphQL stuff available uh, first. Okay, so um, so maybe like starting in early October, like yeah, is that or or even yeah at the latest. Okay. Um, because I think as we get these, because I think like just when I was thinking through this, I think Gary had mentioned that out of all of these metric models he had, I think he said there were only like three metrics that needed to be developed, three or four metrics that needed to be developed. The rest were built all on existing chaos metrics. And so like if we can coordinate the Augur stuff to get those metrics deployed, the atomic metrics deployed, that would provide a lot of coverage at least on, on Gary's viability metric models, which would be cool. Yeah. Okay. Perspective. So they, they kind right, of can, pair, they pair I'll together. focus. Yeah. I'll focus on the, these three metrics for the viability model that Gary developed then. Well, no, I just, if you could focus on like just getting those meeting cadences up, then mm -hmm. I can, I can, what I can do is I can go through here and identify like in those first meetings, we could work on like what metrics for example, in community, which of these are deployed in Augur and which would be mm -hmm. deployed in Augur. Yeah, so okay. it's not about the three metrics we're missing. It's about all of the other metrics that we have and making sure that they're deployed in Augur. Yeah, okay. Yep. And so having that meeting, then we could kind of have the uh, like community participants that want to join and create those endpoints, make those accessible. Yeah. Okay. Right on. Um, okay, cool. Uh, last is, are there any, any, I guess we'll stick with you, Yuhui, were there any Compass updates that you wanted to bring forward? I know you talk, have talked a lot about Compass, but if there's anything that you just wanted to mention as we were here. Uh, 
in the in the early of next month, we will deploy the new feature uh, to to aim to provide service for our community managers and the maintainers. That um, you know, as you know, that we have a four metrics model deployed in Compass, uh, powered by Chaos, and uh, but uh, they are so uh, but. Uh, uh, just uh, only these four metrics models are not good enough for for the community managers to do the real management uh, in their communities. So uh, in our next release, we are gonna provide a new feature, which is currently called detailed metrics uh, for the for the uh, each of single community. So if we wanna try to um, for example, your 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 activity declined or your collaboration uh, development index uh, declined. What happened in the metrics? And if you want to uh, get more detailed uh, of, of uh, what happened how, or how to improve that, we provide some detailed metrics. For example, uh, what's the top ten or top top hundred uh, issues has haven't been uh, handled or uh, what, what's the top top the issues or um, pull requests haven't been much? We will show that detailed metrics for each of single uh, uh, communities. So after that, uh, people would uh, get to know how to improve okay. their communities' governance. And that's in the next release coming soon, is what you said. Yeah, yeah. Next next month. Okay, right on. Uh, it'd be nice to see that. Um, and then kind of as Don alluded to, we do have a, there are a bunch of conferences kind of coming up over the, with all things open, the Linux Foundation member summit, the thing, whatever you're doing, what are you doing in Berlin? Is that in it's, you... uh, Frankfurt? That's an OSPO, OSPology meeting. Oh, okay. Uh, and then the open oiler. So we do, we have a lot of conferences coming up. So I guess maybe for this group, it's just continue to, to listen to what people are interested in, in understanding from their communities or about their communities, uh, and, and bring those things forward here. Cause that's usually our best way of understanding what metrics and metrics models are most important to people is to just listen to the the things that are giving people the most problems or the things that they're trying to understand the most okay yeah we're at the end here yeah. it's a good conversation i really look forward to this <laughs> i think this case study is going to be very interesting um and would be something that's really interesting to share with others as well so all right okay Everybody. see you Thanks See for you. your time. See you. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.